Starbucks, a big name brand coffee shop, is quite popular in Syracuse. And anytime you walk around, you see plenty of people with Starbucks coffees in their hands. But the admired establishment, closing its Armory Square location, is a shock to Starbucks customer Ethan Simonowski. I mean, that, that's, that's news to me, that, that's closing, honestly, because that, that, like I said, it was a staple for me. Without a name brand coffee shop, the foot traffic in Armory Square may drastically change. Floridella, a local boutique, could feel the effects of Starbucks closing down. A small percentage of my customers are actually because of Starbucks. They sit there, they drink their coffee, and they look through the windows, they say, oh, a boutique. As soon as I open my shop, uh, I start getting customers. With inflation at 8.2% and still affecting the costs for vendors, Monica Villegas has remained steady with her prices. I haven't done my due diligence in increasing to where I'm supposed to be yet. Floridella customer and Syracuse business developer Merica Trier says despite the high rates, the number of businesses continue to rise. Last year uh, we had actually a net gain in storefronts and this year we also have a net gain in occupied storefronts. The city welcomed four new retail businesses in the 2021-2022 fiscal year, according to an annual report done by the Downtown Committee of Syracuse. And with the continued growth in population, the city looks to move forward in a positive way. So there's a lot of assets, and again, um, new businesses opening up, so it's always sort of a, a transition and evolution in downtown. Michael Gross, NCC News.